I will now be breaking down two basic martial arts kicks, front kick and side kick. These are the ones that we practice most in our dojo, front kick and side kick. For front kick, we start, we start in front stance. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Try to adjust this a little bit so you can see my feet. Feet are about shoulder width apart. One foot's in front of you. We're going to be kicking with our back leg. Okay, the foot that's in front. Make sure that knee's bent. Hands are always up in guard position. To chamber this kick and the side kick, both of the chambers are pretty much identical. Bring your knees straight up and your toes up because we're going to be kicking with the ball of our foot. Knee up, toes back. And this comes straight up in front of you. And then we snap the kick out. Ball of the foot pointed, get those toes back. Rechamber, so we bring it back in the same way we started. And we put it right back down behind us in our good front stance. Okay, four parts to the kick. Chamber, kick. Rechamber and plant it back down in our good front stance. Chamber, kick, ball of the foot, rechamber, and plant. Try to get your kicks about waist high, but it's not necessary to try to kick way up here until you have that good technique and you're balanced out. Chamber, kick, rechamber, plant. One, two, three, four. Doing these slow like that will really work on your balance too. Okay, switching feet. I'm going to have my right foot in front of me. My left leg's behind me. My left leg will be my kicking leg. My hands are up. Guard that face. Keep your hands up at all times. I'm going to bring my knee up for the chamber. Woo. Sorry about that. Kick. Follow my foot. Rechamber by bringing it right back in. And then plant. Chamber. Kick. Rechamber. And plant. Chamber, kick, rechamber, and plant. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, fast, those kicks will look like that. Front kick, you might hear it called a front snap kick, too. My other foot, faster, regular speed, I should say. Okay. But again, practice your technique slowly until you get the technique down. Then you can start adding speed and power to it. For a side kick, I'm starting a horse stance. So in a horse stance, my feet are a little bit wider than my shoulders, and my knees are both bent straight down over my toes. We don't want any chickens. Okay. Straight down over your toes. You might hear this called a sumo stance too. Like the front kick where I'm kicking in front of me, the side kick I'm kicking to the side. Okay, I'm going to be using the heel of my foot on this kick, the heel back here. You can add a step to it. Okay? So step up side kick, step feet together. My knee comes up, my toes come up, just like I would on a front kick. I kick out to the side with my heel, I rechamber, and I plant it back down. Hi, Glenn. Glenn wants to be a YouTube star. So I step. If I want to step, I don't have to step. Chamber, kick, rechamber, and plant. Chamber, kick, rechamber, plant. Bend those knees. Very important to have loose knees and your hands are up. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. As you get that technique down and your balance gets good, you can add the pivot to the kick. And what that means is your non-kicking foot, I'm kicking with my right leg. So as I throw my kick, I'm going to turn on that left foot. Okay, and what that does is that gets my hip more into the kick and it adds more power to the kick. Okay, so again, I'm still going to bring that knee up in a chamber. I kick, and while pivoting, bring it back in, pivot back, and down. Okay, that's the side kick. That was my right leg. My left leg, same thing. Starting in a horse stance. My hands are out. I bring that knee up for the chamber. Kick with my heel. Heel should be out. Rechamber. 
and plant. Chamber, kick, three chamber, and plant. One, two, three, four. Adding the pivot as I kick, my right foot's going to turn. Adding a little more power, getting that hip into it a little more. And that's a side kick. So front kick and side kick. Oops.